Hey everybody, Chris with Bear Outfitters here, and today we're going to be talking about the Combat Survival Kit by BCB International. I don't really do these kits a lot. Uh, one of the reasons that I don't do them very often is a lot of the time they're full of garbage, and they're a little bit heavy, and we'll kind of get into what all is going into this kit. This is one that I haven't looked at before, but it looks promising. Let's, uh, let's take it over the workbench and take a look at it. Alright, so one of the first things I want to do is toss it up on the scale. It's coming in at 209 grams. I'll flip that around for you. Again, 208, 209 grams. So this thing's pretty lightweight. You could carry it along as a bit of a survival kit or a bit of an outdoor kit if you wanted to. All right, next thing we're gonna do, is we're obviously gonna open it up. So this thing retails for about 35 bucks. It's got a nice, looks like electrical tape on the outside here. I don't know that unboxing videos are kind of cheesy, so I'm gonna try and keep this one short, simple, to the point. Let's take a look at what we got in here. Okay, two part. Ooh, comes a nice little plastic bag. Got some other goodies in here. Looks like I've got some matches. So it comes with probably 10 matches there. A little matchbook, easy enough. It's got some pills. Looks like some water purification tablets. So that's easy enough, water purification. Ooh, nice little knife. It's kind of nice. Made in China. Uh, I probably wouldn't use this for anything super heavy duty. I don't love the serrated blade. The locking mechanism is kind of cheesy. Yeah, probably better off with a dollar knife or a backup knife. If you wanted to bring something along with you, so setting those off to the side here. Put them back in my tin. I'll we'll go through this kind of left to right. Okay, so it looks like we've got a pretty typical setup for these kind of kits. I've got plastic whistle. <whistles> eh, probably not as loud as some of the other ones that I've seen on the market, so I'll set that off to the side there. Got a little emergency candle. Now the one thing I do like about putting a tea candle in a kit like this is it's a lot easier to light a tea candle and leave it burning than to try and light a full size fire. It is really nice to be able to just light up a tea candle and use that as your match versus using a, a full size match or lighter. So set that off to the side there. Got a wire saw. Now these got real popular a couple of years ago and I've seen more like Boy Scouts with these than anything. And they bring them to me, and they want me to be super impressed, and that, you know, that's great. I'm glad that they want my approval. This is a pretty typical cable saw setup. Um, now this is the newer style, which is nice. So it's got a little rubber overlay here, and instead of the old ones have like a swivel piece on them, and that would always break right there, so that was a weak point in it. But this you could use as a as a saw. You could go through some decent sized material used to process meat if you really got something big. But you know, it's it's something. I won't, I won't say it's nothing. It's a little cable saw. I like it. All right, we got a little fishing kit. Now, I'm not a fisherman. I am not very good at it. I've never liked fishing. I don't like the taste of fish. I've never lived anywhere where fish were in abundance. So I'm not great at fishing. That said, looks probably got probably 20 or 30 foot line there. Uh, looks like I got some decent little fish hooks in here. Yeah, this is a decent little kit. Got a couple little little hooks. The biggest thing that I would use this for is to set up a fish trap. Um, looks like you could probably see you got one, two, three, four hooks. You could probably end up doing like a, a trot line or something like that. Some weights. You know, this could be this could be real easy to, to set up and get some decent sized fish. So I'll just scoot this off to the side here. I'll put that away here in a minute. All right, a sewing kit. I think you should already have a gear repair kit with your kit. So this is kind of extra. Uh, if I was going to be going somewhere where I was really worried about it, I guess it could work. It's got a needle, a safety pin, a couple of buttons. I think you should have a gear repair kit with your kit anyway. So this is this is extra for me. That's great. A bunch of safety pins. Again, I think that should be in your gear repair kit before you ever get to this point. All right, got a little, little flashlight here. I'll go ahead and pull that out. Ooh, nice. Uh, not the brightest. I think it's, it says mini torch. So, I mean, it's it's okay. If it was real dark, I think it'd probably work. But, I mean, this is really probably for reading a map or something that you wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be really worried about how much light you have. All right, let's see what we got here. Got a couple of razor blades, so single edge razor blades. A lot of ultralight backpackers like these because you can bring them along instead of a knife and they're gonna be handy for that kind of thing. I don't wanna break this, so I'm just gonna leave it. I don't wanna unwrap it. But yeah, I've uh, got two razor blades here. Got some wire for building a snare, very nice. I knew a guy years ago that whenever he'd build a fire, he'd use a little bit of copper wire to keep his TP all put together. I never liked that because you end up leaving a little bit of copper wire behind and it was kind of violating leave no trace. But some copper wire there, so that's nice. 
A couple of cable ties. Again, you can use these for gear repair. You can use these kind of for whatever. Um, some silicone tubing. Uh, I mean, you could use that to do like a solar still if you wanted to. And a little bit of cordage here. Again, I think you should carry some paracord with you anyway. So that's something to, to bear in mind. So you got a little bit of, little bit of odds and ends there. Next thing, you got a ferro striker, a ferro rod, a uh, ferro cerium striker, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is better than some of the other ones that I've seen. It's all on a lanyard, looks like. Um, okay, it's got some decent spark to it. Um, little compass there. This one actually does point north sometimes, but you got to hold it just so, so it doesn't lock up on you. So, you know, something, something to keep with you. And then, let's see here, what have we got? An accident evaluation report, emergency report, and then how to use everything in your kit. A little dew trap, some survival skills, some basic stuff. And then a pencil. Now, a pencil is a really underrated survival tool. I will say that a, a pencil has come in handy more than once for me. Looks like you've got Morse code, some other odds and ends here. This looks a lot like a really basic survival manual that comes with a lot of other kits that I've seen. So this is nothing that's going to be over the top if you have some basic survival skills. So that's it. This is the BCBN Combat Survival Tin. I think it's okay. I would probably recognize that most of this stuff can be made had for under a dollar. So I think putting it all together, you're looking at you know thirty dollars for about twenty dollars worth of stuff. I think that realistically, you can put together a better kit yourself. Let's uh, let's go back over here and we'll talk a little bit about how you can do that. So while I don't think that this is great for long-term backpacking, it's going to be heavy, it's going to be you know, really easy to duplicate all of this stuff in your pack anyway, I think that this is great for if you're going on a short-term little day hike or you're going to be out for a couple of hours and you don't want to bring a whole-size backpack with you, this will handle everything in your 10 essentials that you need to. You'll have fire, you'll have water, you'll have navigation. Remember the sun always rises in the east and always sets in the west, so that's a really easy one to, to keep on top of. All in all, I think that this is going to be, for the price, a decent little setup if you want to have something with you that's going to make you feel more comfortable. But I want to talk about something that comes up with all of these kits and I want to talk about in this video. So I talked about it a little bit in a previous video where I talked about gear versus skills and why I believe that skills are more important than gear. And one of the big problems with little kits like this is that they really depend on you to have the skills to use the gear, which is great. So one of the most important things you can do when you open up a kit like this is take it all out, make sure it's all there, see if there's anything that you'd like to add. A lot of the times I like to add a band-aid to it, maybe an alcohol wipe, something that's going to give me a little bit of disinfecting capability. Really, this is a really easy kit to customize and tailor to your personal skill level. Just to let you know, Mark over at Texas Adventure and Survival School gave us a code. You can type in Bear Outfitters and it'll give you 5% off your total cart order there. And that gives you a little bit of something something for sticking around towards the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have anything to say about it. Do you have a kit that you like better that you want me to check out? Let me know. Personally, I think that kits like this tend to be really easy to play upon people's fears. That said, I think that it carries all the 10 essentials and so it's really easy to toss it in a day pack and get out there and go. So they have a time and a place. I think that for a long distance backpacking, they're probably not gonna be the best option for you. But for short day hikes, this is gonna be a great little thing that you can toss in a pack, forget about it, and use it in an emergency. So I hope to see you guys out there on the trail. I hope to see you next time. Until then, happy trails.